Jane is from Pain and Elite Education Center. In this video, we're going to discuss some common pain points that IB Math students have, and we're going to teach you how to solve those questions effectively. In this video, we're going to talk about how to find a very specific term in a, a binomial expansion. We know that um, when we're trying to expand this bracket, following this formula here, there will be n plus 1 terms in the entire expansion of this bracket. But usually in IB exams, when the n here is large, the questions, they don't really ask us to find the entire expansion, but maybe be just one or two terms in the whole expansion, okay, and work with them. That means we shouldn't uh, follow this entirely and, and use them all. What we should do is actually to just focus on this term. This gives us the general form of a term in the expansion. And this formula here already tells us how to very um, target how to target at a specific term already. Okay, so let's try to apply this on a past paper style example. In this question, we're given this bracket and we're also told that the coefficient of the x cubed term and the constant term, they are the same. So the question asks us to find the value of k. Okay, so how we are going to how are we going to apply this general form here to solve this question? Let's first of all um, recognize that in this question a is 3x squared and b is negative k over x n is 6. That means any term in this, expansion, in this expansion should be of this form. 6 choose r and then 3x squared to the power of 6 minus r times negative k over x to the power of r. Okay, and the next thing that we're concerned about is the power of x. So let's try to express the power of x in this general form first. There are three things multiplied together. From the first thing, 6 choose r, there's no x involved. So we know that this 6 choose r, it doesn't contribute anything to the power of x. Okay. And then the second thing, uh, inside of the bracket is x squared. And then we raise it to the power of 6 minus r again. So by the index rule, we know that from this middle factor here, the power of x that it contributes is six times oh, is two times six minus r. Okay, and then let's focus on the third factor of this term. Inside of the bracket, uh, we've got an x in the denominator. So actually, the power of x inside of the bracket is negative one. We then raise it to the power of r. So from this third factor here, the power of r, uh, the power of x should be negative r. Okay. So in total, when these three terms are multiplied together, the power of x should add up to twelve minus three r. Okay. And then we just equate this to the powers of the terms that we concern about to see what value of r would give us the term that we want. Okay. For example, if we are looking at the x cubed term, then the power here, 12 minus 3r, should equal to 3. And that solves that r equals to 3. That means when r equals to 3, this expression here gives us the x cubed term in the expansion of this bracket. Okay, so let's plug that back in to see what the x cubed term is. It will be 6 choose 3, 3x three squared to the power of 6 minus 3, and then negative k over x to the power of 3. Okay, and then we just tidy this up to get that this 6 choose 3 gives us 20, and then this we get 27x to the power of 6. And from this bracket here, we get negative k cubed over x cubed. Simplifying this a little bit further gives us 
this expression. So you can see this is an x cubed term. Okay, let's not worry about multiplying the numbers here first, okay, because when you multiply them, they will be quite large and um, it's better to work with smaller numbers until you have to multiply them together. Okay, so let's just leave it as it is here for the x cubed term. And then the second term that we are concerned about is the constant term. When we say constant term, it actually means x to the power of zero. Okay, so we know that in order to find the constant term, we want the power to be zero. And that gives us r equals to four. That means when r equals to four, we will have a um, we will have a constant term from this expansion. Okay? So then we can just substitute r equals to 4 in this formula here. Is 6 choose 4, 3x squared, 6 minus 4, negative k over x to the power 4. So let's continue to simplify this a little bit more. 6 choose 4 gives 15, and this bracket here gives us 9x to the power 4, and within this bracket, it gives k to the power 4, x to the power 4. Okay, let's tidy up a little bit more to get 15 times 9 times k to the power 4 because these guys are cancelled. Okay, so this is the constant term. And further from this question, it says that the x cubed term and the constant term, they have the same coefficient. So we can just copy this and try to equate the coefficient of the x cubed term and the constant term, which is negative 20 times 27k cubed from the x cubed term. And from the constant term, there's 15 times 9k to the power of 4. Okay. So the advantage of not multiplying the numbers are revealed here because you can see that from these numbers there are actually a lot of uh, common factors that you have they can cancel for example with the 9 and 27 you leave a 3 and then with the 15 and the 20 you leave a 3 here and a 4 here and furthermore these three two threes can be cancelled as well so the equation now simplifies to this you see, we don't have to deal with three digit numbers anymore. Okay, and let's continue solving this equation by taking this term to the other side. And um, we can factorize the common factor k cubed from this. And it's very easy to get that k is either zero or four okay but looking back at the question if k equals to zero then there's no point to um work on this binomial expansion at all right okay so uh for this question to make sense k cannot be zero so we can just reject the solution and just take that k should be four okay so the whole technique that we've been talking about here is how to use this very important general form of a term in the sequence to target at a specific term that you want to find in the very long expansion so i hope you memorize this i hope you have found the explanation helpful you can check out the links here or subscribe to our channel for more ib teaching videos